I see a big g of x function with one constant r. They also tell us that this passes through the x, y point. So technically, I could already plug in negative 1 for x, 0 for y. I could solve for my r value. And then, once I have r, I can plug in 0 because that's technically an x value. I could plug in 0 for x and solve for my y, right? Or we could throw all this in Desmos, right? So all I did again is I plugged the whole equation in. I replaced my g of x with y1. I replaced my x's with x1. And um, I replaced my equal sign with a tilde. What it does is it automatically gives me r is equal to 1, which it is, if I plug in my point. So I just made sure to say my x was equal to negative 1, my y is equal to 0. So that's great. We have r is equal to 1. But remember, I want g of 0. Of course, I could just scroll over on my graph and jump up to, you know, my y-intercept. But like, what if it was a more technical value they wanted, one that doesn't necessarily give me a point, right? So all I have to do is we can replace r with 1. And again, they're telling us x is 0, so we don't need to plug in a y value. We're going to say, okay, what happens when x is 0? And they want us to solve for y. You can see here it is right here. y1 is going to equal 27 when x is 0. I jump back to my paper, and I know it's going to be 